I bought my first pair of Yeezys in 2024. Yes, this year. And I got them for 70% off retail price. Adidas and Kanye West have had this long drawn out breakup that I wouldn't even wish on my worst of enemies. In short, it all started because Kanye said some bad things on a podcast and Adidas pretty much came in and said, no, 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 you can't do that. Now apologize to these nice people so we can keep making money off of you. And Kanye was like, I'm gonna double down and say more bad things. And he did. <laughs> to which Adidas responded with, well, you're out of here, pal, and we're gonna sue you to the tune of $75 million and we're gonna keep all the money. Then Kanye said, nuh uh. And Kanye was kinda right. This legal battle ended up with Adidas dropping their $75 million lawsuit, and Kanye West is still entitled to royalties to the Yeezy brand, even these current sales, technically, which is why we're getting this huge liquidation. So let's review the Yeezy 450s and see if the Kanye Adidas feud was to our benefit or did I still get scammed out of $75? A scam is defined as a dishonest scheme. A fraud, if you will. And now, I don't think that Kanye or Adidas are some scammers for the most part. But sometimes people feel that they've gotten scammed out of something when the price and product don't quite match. In this case, I think the best way to determine if these are really a scam or not is to try to reasonably justify this purchase, whether you buy them at $75 or the original retail price of $210. They're ugly, but they're so fun to look at. I can't stop looking at this. It's almost like a symbiote is taking over the shoe from the bottom up. Maybe that was a missed collab opportunity on Adidas part. We know how bad they are at collaborations though, so maybe that was just an injustice that the world was just spared. The whole shape and silhouette of the shoe is just odd, let's be honest. And yes, it does affect the size, and if we're being honest, I would at least go a half size up if you do plan on buying these. The earth tones are pleasing to the eye. Coming in a single colorway makes them a lot more digestible. Some shoes are so bright and overbearing that it's hard to even look at. Like it, it just hurts to physically look at them. Basically anything Jojo Siwa wears. But these are quite the opposite. And at a second glance, they kind of look like a cloud. And let's be honest, most people in public won't know what these are or even care for that matter. So if you're thinking they're ugly and people are gonna clown you for it, nobody cares. It's an if you know, you know kind of shoe. And if you clicked on this video, you probably already knew what this shoe was before you clicked on it. Besides that, I actually love how untraditional of a shape these are. Kanye is very good at that. You can tell that a lot of thought went into what the shoe was gonna look like. Although ugly, you have to admit it's very creative. I would say because of how unique of a shoe it is, it would give it some credibility on the price. So take one for not a scam. These are not worth $210. This can be said about almost any shoe over the $200 price point at this point in time just because shoes are not what they used to be. With inflation and the cost of simply existing on the rise, it's hard to justify spending $200 on really any shoe, let alone a pair of shoes that you could really only wear during the summer. I mean, you could wear them anytime you want, but at what cost? Never mind, I'm getting ahead of myself. What I mean is that a $200 knit, EVA sold, and pretty thin shoe is actually fairly cheap to make. And I feel like with this particular pair of Yeezys, the hype came and went a lot faster than we've seen with other pairs. I will say though, that this shoe is much heavier than you think. You would think this is like, this is a heavy ass shoe. This EVA is solid. And unfortunately, in turn, it makes the shoe a lot less comfortable than you would think it would be. So what was really the point of paying such a premium for a shoe where the demand wasn't really there? It was all a lot of hype. I guess it was all just to say, hey, I got these shoes. Or if you're a reseller, you may have gotten a bag, but those days are long gone. Okay, the demand was there, but Adidas is now flooding the market and driving the prices way down. Did I mention that people were paying up to $350 for these? $350. That's 17 LEGO Speed Champions build set. That's 116 McChickens. That's 135 Red Bulls. Or three and a half years of Crunchyroll Premium Tier 1. Nani? Give me my Crunchyroll. <laughs> you feel me? Give me my Crunchyroll. To kind of further my point, the Yeezy 750s cost an estimated $75 to produce with way better materials. So I would guess, and very, very badly guess, that these cost anywhere from $20 to $35 to produce. That's a hefty markup, but that's honestly most retail products. All I can tell you is that I'm glad I didn't pay full price for these. As of today, I can honestly see you paying up to $100 to $150, but I wouldn't pay anything more than that. For the right buyer, I could see the $210 price tag, but not really. So take one for a scam. I don't think the shoe's strongest feature is the price or its uniqueness. 
but actually it's versatility. I honestly look at these shoes just like I look at the 350 boosts or almost a pair of Air Max 270s minus a lot of comfort. You can wear these out in some sweats to run errands and not really think twice about it or wear them to the gym. Look, hey, yeah, I said the gym. Look, think about it. It's a knit, which makes them breathable. They're easy to slip on and off. They are surprisingly durable so far. I haven't had them that long, but hear me out. The sole's on one level, right? It's it's actually pretty, it's a pretty flat shoe. You know what that's good for? Lifting. Sounds like a gym shoe to me. And, you know, I also think that these have another added feature, which is honestly how I've been to use them. You can wear these around the house. Wear them around the house. They're house shoes. Hey, 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 Don't click off. Don't look, 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 hey, look. Bear with me. You're already here for this long. Just look, bear with me. I understand how weird it is to wear a lace shoe around the house, but these are actually pretty easy. Like I said, they're easy to put on and off. Like you can. Now at this point, you're probably looking at me like I've lost my damn mind and you'd be right. But I lost that years ago. It's all been downhill since then. For the same reasons they're good in the gym. Knit, breathable, easy to slip on. He did it again. <laughs> he did it again. Also, how in the world are you supposed to style these shoes? I don't know. But that's probably going to be my next video, so make sure you subscribe. A shoe that you can wear in multiple situations and it makes sense to wear that shoe then is a good shoe in my book. And I'd say that's two for not a scam. Like I could ramble on all day about why these are or aren't a scam, but you've probably already made up your mind on if they are or aren't. Like as soon as you clicked on this, somebody was like, who the hell would buy Yeezys? And somebody also clicked and said, damn, I gotta get some Yeezys. But are they a scam though? Well, these are the kind of shoes, even for Yeezys, where you're gonna have to find the right buyer for something so special. And at 70% off, I'm the right buyer. It's me. I've always wanted a pair, but you won't catch me paying crazy premiums for a shoe that I kind of want. And I think you should do the same. If it's not a hell yes, it's a no. My only regret at this point is that I didn't buy a pair in black. It's unfortunate that we won't get to see another yay Adidas collab because let's be real, it's been an era. Check the description. I'll put a bunch of links on some places you can go check to see if these are at a decent price. Go ahead and hit that subscribe for your boy. I'll see you in the next one.